So right now I'm in the middle of smashing this Nintendo Switch. This is the red Joy-Con. The little track came off, but the entire Joy-Con is still working somehow. So yeah, this Joy-Con is still fully working. On the other hand, this is my personal red Joy-Con. It semi-works. Right now, the R button just doesn't do anything. It's not even a click because the switch inside of it is completely broken. So right now, I'm going to swap the logic board with this before I fully smash this switch. And I'll have a working right red Joy-Con again. Alright, got my logic board, and as you can see, there's no R button switch thingy or whatever the hell you call it. So yeah, it completely broke off, so I'm swapping it. Alright, got the logic board from the working Joy-Con. As you can see, this one does have the R trigger switch or whatever you call it. And it looks almost brand new, even though it's from 2018. And look at all these parts all over my table. Oh my god, it took me 20 minutes to put in this stupid cable. This cable! Just this tiny cable, it took me 20 minutes to put this in. It wouldn't get in the stupid ass hole. Okay, I think I'm finished after doing that for so long. Let's test it out. Right now it's dead, so we're just gonna have to plug it in. Please work. It's working. Look, I need to test out the SLSR buttons. Yeah, everything's working. And gotta test the control sticks just in case. Oh no, is it slightly drifting? I mean, it seems consistent. I'll just calibrate it. Hold on. Wow, the calibration worked for once. But yeah, these joysticks are kind of new, so they shouldn't be drifting. But these ones on the Switch I'm supposed to smash, it's drifting like a crazy ton. Now to put this Joy-Con back together, I'm not even gonna bother on this cable again. It's really just for the IR sensor, who the hell cares about that? Plus I'm smashing it anyway. 